We have 47 people this year. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm the manager here at Buck Wilds. I have been here for going on five years now. My very first shift, I was it was reopening as Bucks from Viva La Serena, and my very first table were Shireen's mother and father-in-law. So that was a very big sink or swim moment for me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm feeling really good about those numbers so far. My name's Kyla. I've been at Buck Wilds for four years. And last year I came on full time as the general manager. I love my staff here. Very lucky to have a solid team. Every summer we seem to find all these new people that come out of the woodwork. And we have a stack of resumes, probably about this thick. Everybody comes in thinking that they can kill it. They've done this, they've done that. And every year, some are great, some are not, they don't make it, but it's all good. At the end of the day, we all have fun here. It's like organized chaos is the best way to put it, I think. It's like no other. That's why we're the busiest place on Lakeshore. I think we've got a few gaps to fill once we hit full summer here, but I'm feeling really confident about the team we've been building. Yeah, we're gonna see what makes it. Hey, I'm Dylan. I've been working at Buck Wilds for about six or seven years. I'm the bar manager. Um, in the mornings, I work at my other jobs I'm trying to launch here, so I have a couple startups that I'm involved in. If I've ever served you, you know that I'm the king of tequila. The first thing I am going to offer you is a tequila shot. Yeah, my motto is to offer everybody a tequila because it's kind of top of the pinnacle for the highest alcohol percentage that you can drink. And then if, depending on how they answer, if it's like an and eh, then you know they want something else, so then you kind of go down the pyramid of lighter liquors or mixed shots in the safest possible limit. So I agree with all liquor standards. Do you want a tequila? Do you want one right now? I got a year. Whatever. Definitely gonna be our best year yet. Lake Shore Drive, the whole street is shutting down. We've got Corona Draft going in the back bar and our entertainment lineup this year is crazy unreal. So the artists in Alberta, they're blowing up. So we have a category five concert coming in the back pavilion at Buck Wilds. Oh yeah, 100% from the spin and sip event, DJ on Friday nights, all the live bands we book, it's gonna be awesome. You know what, we should really get out of here though. We need a tequila before the stout. Yeah. yeah, you throwing money like you're thirsty. Keep my mood quiet, buy a jet before I'm 30. Six and the stones, break your bones. What do words do? Abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Show your virtues, yeah. Heart eater like X. I gotta keep a broom just to deal with life's mess. Summer 2022. Let's go. Hey, my name is Bryson, and I'm allergic to tequila. Uh, I believe this is my third summer working at Buck Wilds. I started from the very bottom uh, at the kitchen, uh, and then I was chatting with some servers, saw how much money they were making, and I decided to work the front of house. And now I'm the lead bartender here at Buck Wilds. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Who's excited for summer? Woo! Not date each other. Don't shit where you eat. <laughs> That is the big rule. Uh, I've never had a problem dating at Buckwild, so what the fuck could go wrong? Well, you guys are probably gonna do what you wanna do. So. <laughs> I'm falling in my head, seeing if the world becomes my friend. It's overnight success, and feeling if the world becomes the best. I'm falling in my head. Stressful. It's going to be a really nice summer. Um, if you start complaining on small things, it's just going to eat you up and you're going to go crazy and then you're going to get shingles at the end of summer. So, <laughs> yeah. so working at Buck Wilds, everything is absolutely crazy. We are one of the busiest bars around within the summer. We're for a lake, obviously, so it's going to get pretty hectic. That means you're going to deal with a lot of stressful patrons. You're going to deal with a lot of traffic coming in. So all the volume is going to stress you out. So it's very important just to make sure that you have the right amount of sleep throughout the week, that you're working on yourself mentally, maybe going to the gym as much as you can, just making sure that you're staying above all the rush and not uh, sinking in all the volume and stress that happens here. How did the meeting go this morning without me? You guys got this? The meeting went really well. I went over all of the front of house rules with all of the staff and I feel like everybody really understood it all. 
Yeah, I was sitting in with everybody and everybody seems very excited for the summer. It's gonna be a good one. Hi, my name is Shelby. I work at Buck and Buck Wilds and I'm a manager and a server. One day I came in to hand in a resume and I handed it to Dylan and he told me to come back for an interview at six. And when I showed up, it was actually just everybody who was already hired. And I sat in on the first staff meeting of the year, not as staff. And the owner was talking about how she'd met everybody, but not everybody. And she looked directly at me and winked because I never talked to her in my life, didn't even know who she was. And then I found out three months later that Dylan hired me because he thought I was cute. I made sure all the new staff knew that us managers are here as a support system for them. Hey, I'm Taylor. I'm one of the kitchen managers this year. I'm running the Doe's Kitchen and helping out at the other ones as best I can. Liz, I really need your attention here. I need you off your phone, please. Hey, my name is Liz. I'm going into my fourth year as the kitchen manager here at Bucks. Sorry, I'm late, guys. I was on the phone. It's a company I'm working for. It's a big deal going through. So yeah, working two jobs right now is very trying. Um, I'm just making sure to uh, have as much supplementation as I can to fuel all these babies going on right now. Oh, that's okay, Dylan, no problem. Uh, but where's Kyla? Uh, she can't make it. I think she's taking care of some stuff right now. So I'm picking up on some real nervous vibes in this meeting. Um, but I know Shireen is going to be super busy this summer, and but with the team that we have right now, like with myself, Kyla, Dylan, Shelby, I really feel like we can pull it through. I think we're going to be okay. Okay, and everybody knows this year, no dating each other, right? Last year it was a gong show. For sure, it was brought up at the meeting. I said, you do not shit where you eat. Everybody knows. Hey Liz, is there anybody that really stood out to you? Yeah, I really like Jackson. He's a really team player. Like, he's really, really hyped when he's here at work and uh, really want to test him out and see if he's uh, Buckwell's material. Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm super excited to fill Liz's dish pit job this summer and I'm super excited to make all this money in between all my different kinds of sports. Okay, perfect Liz. Okay, so we got the band next door in the pavilion. We have four hostesses on. All the bartenders should be good. I know I'm repeating myself, it's just, it's my last night here and I want to make sure that we hit this first busy night of summer off with a 10 out of 10. We're fully good here, you know we got this. Go do your thing, you got a great team here. You have nothing to worry about. Run out of time, run out of time. Shit's been hitting the fan. I'm out. No, no, no. No, how is breaking loose? <laughs> Can you go mop out the freezer please? I just called an emergency manager meeting with everybody. Might be ready for me to come back.